Amgen is a major biotechnology company. This is where you need a couple of degrees to understand <laughs> what it does. Yes, as we've discussed before, biotech means that they don't just mix up a bunch of chemicals in a pot to make some sort of a drug or molecule. They manufacture from a living process. And inter alia, the kind of products we're talking about here are EPO, which is the stuff that stimulates red and white blood cell regeneration. They also have a whole bunch of other drugs. It's a west coast of the US based company, but with a very strong biotech portfolio and probably of the biotech companies, the largest, best capitalized and most diversified product pipeline. So let's have a look at the market cap there. We're sitting at 114.9 billion US dollars, price to earnings ratio of 9.5 and a dividend yield of 2.6. And Jane. Yes. Have you taken time to understand it? We go back to Warren Buffett saying yes. that don't invest in a company that you don't understand. Well, I think I, you try, we, we try and understand what they try and accomplish. So <laughs> understanding the process of getting there and how they develop these drugs are pretty complicated and also the names, <laughs> just getting your head around the names. But two of the major drivers are um, New, Neupogen, who actually produces um, bone marrow when you get chemo, and the other one is Embril, who is, which is for arthritis. So those are two sort of big ones in the, in the the, in the um, camp and those have been sort of steadily declining in revenue but still they grow you know so the, the market share grows so um, so I think it's an interesting company because like Paul said they've got a big sort of offering they've got lots of pip pipeline developments being Biogen and um, uh, or biochemical rather and they um, and they they sort of banking on many of those to come through at the end of the year most analysts seem to be ex excited about the earnings they've, they've sort of reviewed earnings positively for the rest of the year and um, and uh, when you look at the the consensus aren't there the majority of analysts who follow the company are, are um, advising buy let's have a look at the share price graph because that's going to give us some direction yeah it's drifting around at the 150 dollar share marks been there for quite a while actually quite a while and i know this because we own this uh, for a lot of clients and i own quite a lot of this myself as are well. you one of those that believes that uh, good times are in for the sure, near term for, sure. for this company so in addition to enbrel and all of the new pigeon and new last and all of the stuff for blood and uh, that regeneration which as mia says you get after chemo the big upside here is also cancer. They bought a company called mm -hmm. Carprolis, which has got uh, stuff for leukemia as well. And then the huge thing that everybody is extremely excited about is a new bunch of drugs for treating people who are resistant to statins for cholesterol. So, you know, you get mm -hmm. people who have high cholesterol, but even if they take the tablets, which are the you know ones like Lipitor and uh, you know the Not other really, stuff, it doesn't really work. Not really, because I don't have work. high cholesterol. Oh, that's lucky for you. I do. You do. So we know you know the story intimately. But there's people who don't react to those. So this new class of drug are called PCSK9 drugs, and they will actually lower your bad cholesterol. And it's in phase three approval now, and it looks very good. They've got all the right sort of indications, and it's going to have a nice fat twenty year, you know, um, lengthy. Uh, patent protection. To well, again, I if the share price has gone sideways, and yeah. that's what we've seen to this point, and it looks as though people are starting to turn very optimistic about the future, you don't want to lose out on this no. one. I think this is a great company. Um, there, there are loads of biotechnology companies out there, but very few big ones like this, where mm. they can actually buy the smaller guys when something is positive where a lot of people have meddled sort of in the bio, uh, biochemical and biotechnology um, areas and they've sort of, you know, burnt their fingers because they went too small. Um, but this I'd, one's I'd go for something like Amgen or even like Roche. Yeah. Art or not? Yeah. Uh, no, Amgen or do you want to add some more? No, 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 we like it a lot. And exactly as uh, Mia is saying, they do these sort of joint marketing deals where they go to smaller sometimes listed entities. I mean, we own stock in a company called Cytokinetics, which has got some drug for post-operative heart disease. And all they say is, okay, we'll pay for the phase three trials, but if this drug goes and gets FDA registration, then we'll take like 60% of mm -hmm. the profits. And they've got like 25 deals like that because they've got the scale. So hot or not? For sure, hot. Also hot. hot.